Alcohol bans will be reintroduced in the Northern Territory. The Darrell Anderson report handed to the federal government. As Sky understands, the, it will recommend that the NT government urgently legislate amendments to its Liquor Act to impose alcohol restrictions in Central Australia, and that will include town camps. This would remain in place until alcohol management plans are developed by the community if they choose to opt out of these restrictions. Well, let's go straight to the Alice Springs now for some reaction to this. We're joined by the Mayor, Matt Patterson. Matt, good to see you. Thanks for your time. So what's your reaction to this finding from Darrell Anderson? Thanks for having me. Look, obviously very welcome in regards to the town camps to introduce the Stronger Futures legislation back in place. Um, it was there for 15 years. It, 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 we, it lapsed overnight and clearly we weren't ready for it. Um, I'm interested around the other restrictions regarding Central Australia. Obviously, we've seen Monday, Tuesday already not be able to purchase takeaway alcohol, so I'll look forward to reading the report and what other recommendations it has. Yeah, and that's all due to, to, to come out later on. But uh, how long do you think it would take to, to come up with alcohol management plans? Because, as I understand, this the winding back will, will reintroducing the alcohol restrictions will remain in place until alcohol management plans can come into effect. So, you know, given what you know, how long do you think that could take? Well, I mean, with the assistance of governments, they were, you know, they had 15 years to do them and they had, none were created. So we'll wait and see. I, I don't know how long they'll take, but um, I think that it's the right step in reintroducing Stronger Futures back in. So we'll, as I said, we weren't ready for the lapsing um, and I think this is the right step. So many people, Matt, said, I told you so. You know, told you this would happen. So, so who who is who is the biggest subject of your eye here? Is it the former federal government for letting it lapse? Is it the current NT government for claiming this to be racist policy, or is it the current federal government for not doing anything doing anything for the past eight months? Well, it did lapse in this federal government's term, and that's how why the seventeen organisations in. Central Australia had written to um, the, uh, Linda Burney, so uh, Minister Burney, I should say. So, look, I'm not really here to, to say whose fault it is. Yeah. I just am glad to see that the report says it's going to be reintroduced and hopefully the Northern Territory Government do implement it. And I think that that's the brave decision that they're, um, you know, they're going to have to take. But look, I, I want to be clear that I'm not suggesting that it be forever. Um, and so I am glad to see that it, it does quote the alcohol management plans and I think that it is a step in the right direction for Central Australia because it, we keep saying it is about the kids and the women and they're the ones that are suffering the most here. OK, so, so how do you think an alcohol management plan should be? Well, it just outlines the roles and responsibilities. of it's effective, A town camp is effectively a small little community within Alice Springs um, and so it's just about handling the alcohol in that town camp. So we will wait and see, um, as I said, other things in the report that are going to have ramifications because whilst we do have alcohol problem on one hand, the other issue we face is the antisocial behaviour. And so we're always talking about alcohol, but we're actually not talking about addressing getting the kids off the street into a yeah. safe place. So that's the other piece that yeah. I'm really interested in reading in the report. Yeah, sure. That's the other thing. And you've been very strong on this too. I mean, you've mentioned there that alcohol, that there are other factors that can lead to alcohol. You know, you've got the school issue, you've got the home issue, you've got a whole bunch of other issues that still need to be worked out. Yeah, absolutely. And ultimately, um, we need to intervene as quickly as we possibly can to give the kids a future. The longer we don't address it, the harder it is to get these kids on the straight and narrow. I mean, in Australia in 2023, to have a child as young as four or five on the street because it's safer for them to be on the street than at home, I mean, this is an uncomfortable conversation, but it's happening in our country. So that's why I'm pleased that it is on the table of the Prime Minister because it, it really is everyone's problem here. Yeah. The Prime Minister is to meet Natasha Files in Canberra today. What, what do you hope comes out of that meeting? Well, I hope the alcohol issue is addressed, but also there is some outcomes in regards to resourcing. Clearly, we don't have enough police, um, and we're seeing that with the mountain of calls. Um, I do acknowledge that I do expect the number 
uh, of call-outs to drop if alcohol restrictions are in place. But again, hopefully more resources um, to, to have some proactive policing um, because the Alice Springs Police Force are run off their feet at the moment. I take my hat off to them. So resources and the alcohol obviously is an issue. Um, but again, a plan to, you know, look at a facility um, or look at services for these children. What sort of services for the children? Well, it's a holistic service that wraps, um, you know, care and love around the kids. Mm. Now, I've said previously that I think that the service providers in Alice Springs are, um, you know, not all of them are doing their job properly. We've got over 35 service providers here that are meant to provide for the kids. Now, clearly someone's not doing their job if we've got 200 kids on the street at any given time. Yeah. You know, the Northern Territory Government through Territory Families is really the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff and kids shouldn't be getting there. Um, that's the, really the last port of call. So to me, we've got to hold some accountability to the service providers who are on the government ticket because if it was any other industry, they need to prove that they're what they've delivered. So, mm. you know, this is all part of the conversation. We can't keep kicking the can down the road because nothing will change.